last night. People are calling for Gareth's head, but whoa, 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 whoa. Um, uh, I watched it, Al. Where, where do you start with it? Um, first and foremost, you've got to say, after the debacle of the Iceland game in 2016, you've got to say that Gareth has taken England forward. We're in a better place than what we was after that game. You've got to say mm, that. Was it fourth place, third place, second place in the last three tournaments that they've been in? So there has been an improvement. But having said that, I mean, it was just dreadful last night. I watched the game. Um, I don't get what his best team is. I don't think Gareth knows. I don't think he gets what his best formation is. More importantly, because if you if you know your formation, you can then work the players around it. All right, you might be leaving good players out, but you've got your formation. You know what you're going to do. But he plays three at the back, four at the back, five at the back. He what do you th- think's best home? What would you play? Would have, would have, would the players have got. Play, I'm like you. I brought up on a back four. I like a back four. Yeah. But you, to do that, you probably need Chilwell at left back. You've got to have a left back. Yeah. I mean, playing Trippier and Rhys James at left back, right footed left back. I don't get it. it it, it, no. You're telling me there's not a young left back who could come in and play. Luke Thomas at Leicester just straight away springs to mind. Just a young kid, put him at left back. You've got a left footer at left back. All right, they might not, might not be ready for international yeah. football, but you keep the balance of the team. You, you haven't got the balance if you've got a right footed player playing at, at left mm. back. You've got too many defensive centre midfield players. Yeah, I looked at the, the, the midfield, you know. You, I don't get Calvin Phillips. I've got to be honest. I don't get the, the big clamour about him. He's, he's effective at what he does. I get what he does for the team. But Declan Rice is a better player. Yeah. Declan has to but play in front of him. But is that not Gareth, in a nutshell, effective? I like players I can trust who do it simple. I know what I'm getting. But you won't win a World Cup with effective players, Al. You know that. If you want to win a World Cup, you need a star man. You know, our Jack Grealish doesn't play. I don't get it. Phil Foden has to play. I know he's COVID, etc. I understand that. So you're, you're like me, Rice, Mount, Foden, Grealish. Absolutely. And then you've got one of the best forwards in the world who's... To be fair, I thought Harry played quite well last night. He led the line. He went. He was the only one who got on yeah. the ball and it looked like... But I don't want to see Harry Kane on the halfway line. I want to see Harry Kane in the box. And then towards the end of the game, Reese James put a beautiful ball into the box, and, and Harry was the only player in, in, the, in the box. So you've got no midfield players who can score goals. Mm. So you've got no creation, no goal-scoring midfield players. At a centre-forward start of the service, you've got too many defensive players. I mean, there's been times where there's been seven defenders playing, and then three forwards. Yeah. It, it's, without, it's all over without, the without place. Without deflecting from a, a really poor performance... What about this Nations League? I'm not having it, Tony. I understand the concept of it, but not being funny, what idiot thought it was good for England to play four games at the end of a season yeah. when everyone's knackered, they've all played in Champions League, etc. Plus et the World Cup, Tony. And you people are going to go back Cup. to pre-season, aren't you? Of course, Ray. So, I know. <laughs> it, it, you know, the players good. are going to get three... We're middle of June now, three weeks yeah. rest, so they're going to go back, say, 7th, 8th of July, at which yeah. point they're a week behind all the other players because they've been in training... And as Ray said, we've got a World Cup. It, everything should be designed for World Cups Absolutely. and Euros. And, and what do UEFA do? Put in the Nations League with four games. Mm. The players don't want to play. The fans don't want to watch it. The media ain't, ain't bothered about it. It's a complete mm. shambles. Absolutely. You haven't got that creation in there. You're not going to score no. goals. Because, to be fair to Hungary, they, they, they did brilliant. They put their bodies behind the, the, yeah. you know, 10, 11 players and just say, come and break us down. We ain't good enough if you haven't got creative players. Mm. And they, they get a goal. You know, in the, in the early in the first half, and it's not rocket back. science, hotel. So, we're all Tony, sitting here saying, "Well, no. come on, you got to no. play Greedy, you got to play." Tony is is Gareth scared of characters? Possibly, Al. Possibly, yeah. I mean, I think he's scared of flair players. I don't think he trusts them. He doesn't trust Jack Grealish. It'd be interesting to see if he... Madison. Ma- how does Madison not get in the squad? What has James yeah. Madison got to do? He scored he a load brilliant. of goals, he brilliant load of season. assists. He's a fantastic player, mm. and he doesn't even get in the squad. And you know, the, you come, if you go back to the big games we've had re- in recent years, you look at the Croatia game. We go a goal in front, sit back, okay, mm. and then you then add the same thing in the Euro Italy. final. Is it, is you it, score against Italy, sit back, and and I mean, I keep going back to that final, and I look at, you know, it's, it, I'm not, it's not this pick on Gareth but the facts you know some of the things that he did in that final he took off our best player which was Declan Rice he then messed up with the penalties and then he says after practicing for three years that we, we've really worked hard on penalties and the best thing to come up with is a 19 year old kid who should never have been taking a penalty he was never yeah. taking a penalty for Arsenal 
You know, that could have destroyed Saka's career. It was just ridiculous, all what went on. And England were far better than Italy. They should have won the Euros. Do you think Go it's because he's a defender? Is, is, is that defensive mentality? You get that mi- mentality, yeah. right? You're midfielder, so you've got a little bit... You know you've got to defend, but you know you've got to get forward. Yeah. I'm a forward. I mean, I was lazy. I don't want to go back. I don't want to defend <laughs> or anything. You know, you know what I'm talking you about. You like that, Al, wouldn't you? Yeah, but you, you, but you, <laughs> you do what you're good at in football. You want to score goals. You go yeah. forward. And Gareth was a good defender. Yeah, of course he was. And he's got that defensive mentality yeah. as a manager which can be great if you're trying to protect leads and everything but we don't even do that we go a goal in front we can't even defend so I, I don't quite know where he's going with it Talk Sport Breakfast with Alan Brazil Thursday and Friday morning 6 till 10 on AM on DAB via the Talk Sport app and on your smart speaker Talk Sport